So, we have probably noticed that my flexible PCB actuator is beeping when I place a magnet near it. This is nothing special, almost every motor that is driven with a PWM signal can do it. But I don't think anybody has ever tried to build a speaker from a printed circuit board. So that's what I'm going to try and do in this video. But first, I need to build an amplifier. Now let's test the PCB speaker. I started out with something very basic. It's not very loud, but at least it's working. Keep in mind that all I did for this prototype is just tape the PCB on some plastic. While I was testing this, I received a new flexible PCB. So I decided to design a more sophisticated prototype. The three printed part is now holding the flexible PCB much more stiffer, so in theory it should be more efficient. So let's plug this thing in. To measure how loud the speaker is, I used the spectrum analyzer app, and the maximum change of 70 dB was red. The noise level generated from this tiny PCB speaker is very similar to the noise generated from a piezo buzzer. Another interesting thing to throw would be to increase the area of the PCB so that more air is pushed with the coil's vibrations. This PCB speaker design can still be improved by adding a diaphragm. A normal speaker works by having a voice coil connected to a cone, which are actuated by a magnet. The vibrations created by the cone pushes the surrounding air to create sound waves. My PCB speaker is creating noise in the same way, it just don't have the cone to amplify that sound. So let's try and add a diaphragm to a PCB coil. My first failed approach was to try and make a diaphragm from paper. I tried to couple it with hot glue, but it ended up being too stiff and the vibrations were being lost. Then I simply used a plastic cup to act as a cone. It was a simple help, but it ended up working very good. I also tried testing the speaker with a 1.6mm rigid PCB by connecting the magnet to the diaphragm. This was just a proof of concept, but in reality there needs to be much more calculations and tuning to match the resonant frequency of the cone with the PCB coil. I also tried to amplify the sound by connecting the flexible coil to different objects. This design would be perfect for small applications like headphones or bone conduction speakers. It is very cheap and easy to build and I also released all the files as open source. I'm quite happy how this PCB speaker turned out and now I can add it to the list of weird things I have designed with PCBs.